Hi there, it's Naomi from Branching Out and this video is going to show you how you can optimise your images in your WordPress website so that you stand a better chance of showing up in Google for the key phrases that you want to be found for. So we're going to take a look at how you can optimise your alt text within your WordPress website. And I'm here, I'm in the back end of my WordPress site and all you need to do is go to your media if uh, you have images already in there. Now it can be a lot easier to um, optimise them as you are loading them in, but if you've already got images that you want to optimise now, then you can just go into your media file and click on your library there and mine's just uploading now. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit of time depending on how many images you have got there. Um, and you can see all these images now and all you need to do is uh, click on them. So I've got one there. Um, which is me. Now, ordinarily, I load my file names of the description that they actually are. This one I've just done um, for a landing page and I've put it in as a screenshot. Um, that's not ideal. I would recommend that you, you actually put them as a file name when you upload them, but you can change the title here. So this would be, because it's an image of me, I would be putting in a title name of uh, Naomi Gilmore. It could be that I put in branching out online as well, but I may choose to do that in my alt text. So your alt text is alternative text. It's about putting text in behind the image that means something for that image. Now, a lot of people get tempted to put in kind of a lot of spam and keywords in alt text. But actually, that can work a little bit negatively for you. So it's to make sure that it's um, relevant to the reader. So although you're going to be putting in keywords and key phrases, they need to make sense with the image. So here I might put um, Naomi Gilmore working at branching out because that is exactly what I am doing um, and also keep it between sort of five and 15 words in your alternative text and then once you've actually done that all you need to do is uh, just save the changes um, to that I'm not going to edit the image or anything so I'm just going to close that down and those uh, changes will be saved um, but where you are um, just going to go into this one and see here. So this image has got a title of SEO3 and that's not ideal either. I will be doing uh, SEO search tips for small business. And again, onto the alt text, I would put search, uh, search engine optimization for small business websites um, and that will give you an idea of the kind of phrase um, that somebody might be putting in Google to find and uh, this specific image. So make a list of the keywords and phrases that you want to use, look at the images and make sure that they are real and they match up to the images that you want to optimise. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it really useful. To keep updated with all my tips, hints and free stuff, you can visit my website on branchingoutonline.co.uk, uh, take a look at my blogs and my free stuff there, and I shall see you very soon.